Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. I have something really cool to share with you. So we've been trying to get off grid here on the farm for probably three years and today I have found an off-grid solution that you're not going to believe. This solar panel, this small solar panel right here has enough power to run my home. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to take you through all the details of how to install this, how to hook it up, and how to run your entire home off of one small solar panel. It involves this and it also involves this right here this special thing the special thing in this box so guys come along here on the farm blog today we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to learn a lot together about how to use this tool and this tool to power your house off grid it's awesome all right let's go have some fun Woo! So before we get started today on today's very educational off-grid vlog, this is our first off-grid vlog, okay? It's our first off-grid vlog and it's our first tiny house vlog. That's right, we've decided we're going to move into a tiny house, guys. So before we even get started with that, I want to let you know we still have, I think, seven more days available the stony ridge farmer t-shirts these are stony ridge farmer limited edition t-shirts you can get them they say i support veteran farmers or there's one that features the hundred dollar pickup truck so go to bonfire.com and search stony and you'll see it or there'll be links down below in the video description you're going to love this video it's fantastic all right first of all we got to start with our parts list okay our parts list includes this solar panel right here and I'll post a link down below to this solar panel see the little light that's flashing right there that means it's ready to use it's ready to use in your house it's ready to use in your car this is designed to help charge your battery in your car you can plug it into your cigarette lighter it comes with several different little attachments right here they are let me show you real quick let's get all this crap out all right so the attachments are, it, it plugs into this little plug, and then this goes in your cigarette lighter, and you can charge your car battery. You can charge your car battery, or you can charge anything that you can plug into a cigarette lighter with it. I'm not sure if you can light a cigarette with it or not. The next thing it comes with are these little pinchers right here, okay? So these little pinchers are, are very, very crucial in putting this thing on and helping us to get off-grid. And this little plug also plugs in, and this plug plugs in to the extremely long cable which is attached to the solar panel just like this let me show you real quick okay so this plugs this is going to the solar panel it's right here here's all the cords all right now here is the cord that goes to the two clips right here and we'll plug this guy in right here and I'll show you all this power <laughs> not, 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 not really it's plugged in right there so tech ooh. That tickles. Uh, technically, we have a charge, and that would be enough to run this house. This box contains the secret to boosting the power of this little tiny solar panel, this tiny, tiny solar panel, to, 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 to run my whole house, to run the whole house. It's amazing. So without further ado, do, do, I'm going to get everything all plugged up, and I'll show you how it all works, okay? Girl, you be a woman soon. So for this job, we will not need the cigarette lighter or adapter for cigarette lighter. So we don't need that. We also don't need the instructions that come with this. We don't need that at all either. We need this solar panel right here. So we need this solar panel right, 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 right here. And you see it lighting up. That means it's charging. We don't want to short it out. We want to take good care of it because this is what's going to power our house. Okay. We're going to take this solar panel and we're going to plug up. Come on, guy. We're going to plug up our positive and our ne negative terminals here. We're going to do this very, very carefully. Make sure they're not touching, okay? So this is how it's done. You take that and you plug it right in. Real slow, real gentle, just like that. And it's plugged in, and that's that's the plug-in part. So the next part is the most crucial part. you got to go down here on the, on the ground and pick this thing up. Part two involves this, okay? I've got to go get a ha hammer. I'll be right back. Right here's the hammer. This is the hammer that you need for 
part two or part three. Whatever part this is, this is what you need for it, okay? Here's the box. I'm gonna open it up and take it out. The part that we need here. Okay. All right. Got a snap, a little snap on there. Comes in a bag. Here's a bag. We'll take that bag and we'll, we'll recycle that bag, okay? We're gonna recycle that bag. We're gonna take our second ingredient, which is right here in my hand, and I'm just gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do right here on the tailgate of the truck. This is very technical, so pay attention. It's, it happens really fast, it's very technical. I promise you, this is gonna work. It's, it's been working already. We already have one of these installed on our off-grid off, off tiny house that's, uh, it's right back here. That's our, right, right, right there. That's our other off-grid tiny house. We call it a shed and that, that's where we live uh, when we're not living in our other tiny house. We, 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 we call that the shed. That's where a lot of screws and nuts and bolts are kept. It's our tiny house. That's our big truck beside our tiny house. Guys, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time to the channel, if you're enjoying this, if you like this content, if you find value in it, please click the thumbs up. Click, 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 click the like button. Help support the channel, okay? Buy yourself a t-shirt. Be a man. This is a man shirt. Be a woman. It's a woman shirt. It can be a kid's shirt. It can be anybody's shirt, 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 shirt that it wants to be. Second ingredient is right here in my hand. Let me show you exactly what we need to do. We're going to use our tool that we just bought on Amazon right here to solve this entire on the grid problem. We're going off grid right, 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 right now. Get ready. Here goes. Right there. Right there it is. Okay. Secret ingredient. You got to keep this part wet right here. Okay. So keep that wet. We're going to flip it over so as to protect it. We're going to like stick it on the, on the metal right here. Okay. I'll show you this part right here. It goes down just like, like, like that. Part two is right here. Okay. You get your hammer. You gotta put that nail in. You gotta be firm with it, okay? Right here, this is the nail that we're gonna use, okay? I'll post a link, link, link down below. Tap, tap, tap that nail in, just like that. Right there is it. Now we're gonna take our solar panel. I had to get the camera back a little ways because I'm afraid it may spark as soon as I hook it up. First thing we gotta do, so we got our clips, we got our solar panel here, and we gotta make sure when we plug it up that it's flipped over, that the sun cannot get to it, that God's light cannot shine upon this because it will explode. First, we're gonna hook up the negative. I'll show you real close. And then we're gonna hook up the positive and just be really, really, really careful, okay? We're gonna take this back to the electrical panel, the main electrical panel in the house. Show you exactly what to do, exactly what to do. Let's take it on back. This must be facing southward, okay? Right here, this, this is a, a power inductor. You wanna take your power inductor and you're gonna put it right on the top of your panel. You gotta be careful, okay? And then this should be facing southward, okay? That's right it goes right there okay that's due south that's facing due 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 south and besides the power inducer and the solar panel this next step is the most important step in going off grid with this solar panel right here and i'll show you i'm going to bring it in a little closer so you can see Guys, you gotta be careful. There was a wasp in here, a wasp. And wa wa wasps are attracted to off-grid homes and tiny homes, so you gotta be careful. So the next step, the biggest step in this entire thing, first of all, you make sure your inducer, oh, I bumped my head. You're gonna make sure your inducer is absolutely level right here. This conduction point must be on the top of the panel and it must be level. So once it's level, then you take your main breaker right here and you turn it on, you click it. Oh. Just like that. Did you see the panel jump? Because so much electricity came blasting out of here that the panel actually fell down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially off grid on one single electrical panel. I'm gonna tell you right now that this entire video is a crock, 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 crock. And I hope you guys had fun. So many people are doing this off grid things. So many people are doing this tiny house thing. So many people are just trying to live a good clean life. And I thought I'd just take you along with me and have a little bit of fun today. Show you something that was just absolutely silly. To me, living in a tiny house, there's just no way I could do it here on the farm, guys. We have too much equipment. We have too many things to maintain. We have to have our shop here. We have to have big tools. We have to have big toys. We have to have big trucks and we have to have big equipment. So we can't live in a tiny house. You just don't have room to even put a socket set down somewhere. So guys, what we have to do is live a good clean life and do the best you can and save all the energy you can try to live right and what we're going to do here on the farm is we're going to raise grass-fed beef and organic pasture raised chickens thanks a lot for watching guys if this is your first time click the like button guys for goodness sake leave a comment down there tell me what you think i know this is silly it's just about having fun and being on the farm and living in the country there's my dogs here's me 
If you like Stony Ridge Farmer and you want to support a veteran farmer, buy yourself a t-shirt. This is just a little fun video. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm for something real, not something silly and fake. All right? You come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Get in the grass. Get in the grass. Sit. Sit down. Lex, sit. 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 Lex, sit. Good girl. Stay, stay, stay free.